What is up everyone, Trey Adams here and I'm here to do a video on my custom PS5 DualSense controller. So my controller was made by Aim Labs. I've had this controller now since November and it has been fantastic to me. It has been a great controller to get used to having the back paddles and playing for my FPS games. So this controller was made by Aim Labs and I'll put their link in the description below. I purchased this controller with my own money and I'm not affiliated with the company whatsoever. This is just my honest opinion and experience with the controller since I've owned it since November of 2021. I was in the market for a controller with back paddles and looked at multiple companies and AIM controllers was the one I chose. At the time of making the decision to want to buy a controller with back paddles, Scuff had announced on their Twitter page that they were making a PS5 DualSense controller, but the expected release date has not been, had not been announced yet. I believe they said that they were looking to push it out in the holiday time frame and they put that initial Twitter message out in June or July. So, and plus I knew once the controller did come out that the price of it was going to be pretty high, but also the queue to get in to buy that controller was going to be very challenging. Um, and sure enough, it was like I got the notification. I clicked in just to see if I could get one and it was they immediately sold out. So I decided, you know what, I'm not going to deal with that. I'm just going to go ahead and get one now that way to see what my thoughts are, my likes and maybe go with one in the future. So I went through with Aim Labs. The controller is great and I added the mouse click triggers, the back rubberized grip, heightened thumbsticks and of course the back paddles with the option to remap. I felt like I'm going to spend this much money on a controller, I want to make sure I can be able to remap those paddles. They have two options. I think version one is non-remappable, version two is remappable. So just make sure that you're, if you're gonna, not gonna go remapping one, that you're set on what you know your back paddles are gonna be. Maybe you already have a controller and you're used to that. I also did get the vibration removed, which decreased the weight of the controller as well. So perfect for FPS shooters. And the controller is definitely lighter. So once I decided to order the controller, uh, the controller, which I was very surprised, I got an email eight days later after ordering it that it was been shipped. So it was an eight day turnaround between ordering it and actually shipping it. And then it arrived in two to three business days, which is very, I, was high, I wasn't expecting that. All the other com the companies that I looked through, they were saying you're looking at a 30 day time frame to possibly 60 days. And a lot of the reviews of some of the other controllers said the same thing. They had ordered theirs and it took two months for it to show up. So. You know, I wasn't out expecting to get my controller until definitely after the holiday time frame. But maybe it was due to the holiday time frame that they were working extra hard and they got them pushed out. But I was very surprised and grateful that it shipped out that quick. So I would say once I had the controller in and I was playing with it, it took me about roughly one to two weeks, probably about right two weeks to get comfortable with using the back paddles. Um, the mouse click triggers, they were perfect. You can hear the sound of them. I did not go with the bumpers because I didn't need to, I just went with the mouse click triggers. But as far as remapping, you know, I had my square, circle, triangle, X on the back and about one to two hours playing for the first two weeks. After that, I was pretty comfortable and used to the back triggers and definitely saw an increase in my gameplay playing Apex. Not COD, because I suck at COD, but anyways. So the only negative experience I've had since owning this controller was after the first month of using it, I did have an issue with one of my mouse click triggers. One of them stopped responding. Uh, when I was playing Apex, I'd have to press it down really hard for it to actually fire. And that was the main issue that I had. So I contacted the company and let them know the issue. They asked me to run through some troubleshooting, the simple reset, and then see if that fixes it. And it didn't. And so next they asked me to send in a quick video showing me using the controller and then the gameplay in the background to see what the response was. And sure enough, you can easily see that I'd click the controller and there would be no firing in Apex. So we sent the video and then they asked, okay, cool, send off the controller and then they would refund up to $15 for the shipping rate. So I believe I shipped off the controller 
and within eight to 10 days, I had the controller back, which I was highly surprised, and especially during the holiday time frame, that I had the controller repaired and back to me and worked perfectly fine. So now it's March and I haven't had any issues with it. Their customer service was great and I got the $15 back for the shipping based on sending it to them. So overall, the price you're gonna pay for one of these controllers. So I paid a total of 208 after all my customization for my controller. And then I found a coupon online that had a promo code and it dropped $50 off the price, dropping it down to 172 after shipping and handling. So if you think about it, the price for that is not too bad because nowadays a DualSense controller costs right at about $70 depending on which color version you go with. I think one of them's even 75. So you're paying basically a hundred bucks for adding the mouse click triggers, the back mapping, uh, the rubberized grip is what I paid for it, but you're also paying for the labor too. So not a bad pricing if you break down the cost of what goes into the controller. So if you're in the market for a custom PS5 DualSense controller, check out AIM controllers. Their link is in the bio below. And also, you know, look for any promo codes. Sometimes the company has some on their social medias as well that may help reduce the price on it. If this video was helpful for you, smash that like button. Also, drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Did you already purchase a controller or are you looking to buy one? Did you get one from a different company? Let me know what your thoughts are and what your experience has been. Also consider subscribing. Subscribing helps me grow this channel and continue to produce more content. I also live stream over on Twitch daily. My Twitch bot link is in the bio and as well as my other social medias. Feel free to stop by and let's chat. I hope you have a great day and stay safe out there. Bro, it smells like wine. Wait for it like spew like crazy. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Brush up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm their killer. I don't have any foam. Oh, heavy, heavy, heavy. Maybe. Like some calories right there. I shouldn't have had that PB and J.